Ahoy, mateys. Uh, it's about quarter to nine, maybe even nine o'clock on uh, December 7th, Friday. I am in Lada. Uh, I've done some driving around, took a couple pictures. Um, this seems to be the downtown focal point. Um, there's a veterans thing over there. Uh, I don't have my dog with me, so it's a very pretty morning. I've drove down some of these streets, um, a lot of cool old houses, old church. I see a Masonic Lodge over there. plaques that say who donated money for all of this. From what I understand, the uh, town was basically a railroad town and a lot of credit goes to a Captain Lotta who helped establish uh, this as a railroad uh, hub point that was very popular back in the 1800s, early 1900s. Some cool old uh, buildings they have here. That one that I'm standing behind is the post office. You can see La Fortuna parked over there by the library. And it looks like they're adding on to the library. I'm assuming they're going to do it in a historical way. What does that say? The old Vidalia, Vidalia Academy. Harold Allen was concerned about the education of his children. Constructed a one-room schoolhouse on his property. The school opened in 1877. Fifteen students who paid an annual tuition of three dollars and fifty cents. Wow. Enrollment increased. They needed a second room by 1883. This closed in 1898 because they had to build a much bigger school because the town was growing. It became a Methodist church a sharecropper dwelling and later a chicken coop. <laughs> Building's been moved really several times. It's now loaned to the town. The town actually doesn't own this, it's on loan. <laughs> 1879. Pretty cool history there. Lots of new nails in here. Very cool. I guess you can imagine what this must have been like, you know, way back. Looks like they got a few things stored in there. Definitely some old antiques. <coughs> National Register of Historic Places.
these windows have been cleaned more recently. <laughs> I looked at this sign a little earlier, but it's a post office and general store is what this little building was, or is, if you want to call it that. But this poor sign here needs some help. It's not that it's dirty. The plastic is just so faded you can't not read it. But... All right, we'll get by. I would imagine there's some a lot of history inside the building. Oh, they do have a plaque. Andrew Carnegie Library. A Carnegie Library because he was uh famous for building a lot of libraries. So this one is only one of five remaining Carnegie libraries in the state that is still in operation. So I'm going to speak momentarily to a resident. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Captain Jack Scrapper. Do you ever watch YouTube? Yes, I got some music videos on YouTube. Okay, would you like to be on YouTube right now? Do my makeup look alright? It looks fine. It looks fine. Here's my card and my sticker. Thank what you. is your name? Diamond. Say again? Diamond. Diamond. I like yeah. that. I like that very much. So. You like it, no, we're not live. This oh. will be published later. Oh. Um, so I've been driving around the town, seeing some of this stuff. The yeah. old churches and the old houses. Pretty yeah. cool place. Yeah. The library, I don't know what... I wouldn't they, say that... I think they remodeled. Yeah, they're, they're remodeling, adding on to it, too. You know, from what I understand, and this is done in other communities, they also uh, try to keep it back to as original-looking. Yeah. as they can get it yeah. so pretty cool yeah I came down here from Michigan that's so. where I'm trying to go you're trying to go to Michigan yeah because see oh. my mama passed away so too much oh, oh no a couple weeks ago and my brother in Michigan and I don't got no address or his phone number and last time I talked to him was when I found my mama face down Aww. in the hallway, and um, I, he probably thinks I'm dead. Oh, that's that's sad. Yeah. Uh, I hope you can find him. Thank Myself, you. I I don't want to go back to Michigan. It's too snowy up there. All right. Well, uh, my next stop is somewhere to pee. <laughs> Yes, you they can. In Michigan, and they know my brother. Hey, I'm Donna Herring from Dillon, Atlanta. If y'all from Michigan and y'all know Jackie Herring, please let him know I'm going to come looking for him. 
and that I'm okay and I love him. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Well, that was very sweet. Uh, Diamond, this will be published this afternoon. So, and I have many followers, so you never know. Somebody I may. Check out my own freestyle. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you'll watch this video, and um, I have lots of videos all the time. Uh, you got a Facebook? Uh, I do have Facebook, but mine doesn't seem to work very well. So everything I do is mostly on YouTube. So, all right. Well, Diamond, I'm going to move on. I'm looking to uh, have a short establishment in Myrtle Beach, but it'll probably be just at the state park. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool at the beach. Is it? Okay, yeah. I've never been there. Hopefully, maybe later today. It looks like the weather's going to improve for a couple days. Yep. So, all right, that's the news that is the news, people. I'm still going to go look for a place to pee, and I know I'm going to find it. I saw it on the Either map. Tagmart or um, IGA. IGA, all right. All right, in the meanwhile, fair winds and smiles, and if you can help Diamond out, please make comments, and she'll be watching for those comments, too. And check me out on Facebook, Diamond Herring. Diamond Herring. Yeah, H-E-R-R-I-N-G. We got it. Okay, Diamond, thank you very much. Give me a hug. I will give you a hug, I certainly. I love you. All right. Have a safe yep. trip. I hope to see you on, on my, I do live streams too. This one's just not one of them. Uh, so. I'm, I'm about to go on YouTube so you can tap in your YouTube channel. So okay. I can, um, sounds good. You. That sounds good. All right. That concludes this little segment for December 7th, 2023. Fair winds and smiles. And as always, may God bless.